it's so remarkable that you're able to surf at sea while you're on board a ship. You know, there's no other experience that you can do that anywhere in the world. So it's absolutely fantastic experience for everyone. The water comes out at around about 35 to 40 miles an hour as it comes screaming out of the flaps and then you're able to stand up surfing using the board, your aquaplane, or using the actual wave itself. They're dealing with their own core body strength and using all of their abilities to keep themselves upright and moving back and forth on the wave using very small body movements. The palms are so big they cannot be seen from here. They are two tons, each one of them. So we have four tons running this feature. The pumps are big enough to push the water with around 100,000 gallons per minute. My first flow rider cruise was on Independence, the transatlantic, and it was freezing cold. I've learned to bring a wetsuit now on uh, transatlantics, but that was hard. It certainly has been the hardest uh, activity that I've learned to do, but once you've mastered it, there's nothing like it. You get a huge adrenaline rush doing it. And it's now really most of the cruises I do are ones which have a flow rider. The staff on board uh, for the flow rider, they train near enough every single day, being able to uh, deliver the wow experience to all of our guests. We're able to progress them from not knowing what a boogie board is to being able to progress up until the stand-up surfing using all of their skills and knowledge that the staff are able to give them.